All right, Tinkercad. This is video number two, fifth graders, to um, create your bubble wand. Now that you have created your design with the scribble tool, we're going to have to rotate it. We're going to rotate it to a negative 90 degrees. So if I click down here at the bottom, um, it will allow you to enter in the degrees right here. And I can put negative 90, or I can, I'm undoing with control Z or up here, or I can actually just click the arrows, hold down my shift key, and I'll turn it negative 90 degrees. Your choice. So there's two ways. Now I've got to make sure that this bubble wand and the design are intersecting with each other. Okay. So I'm going to take the bubble wand and I'm going to move it into butterfly. The next step on the butterfly is to realize that it is higher. See, so if you're looking at the height right here, it is taller than the wand. So my creation, I need to click on it and change its height to five millimeters. So just click in five and enter, and then you'll see that it is intersecting. The next step is to group. Now that they overlap, to group the two objects. And when you do this, it, you'll know you've grouped your objects because the colors will all change to one. There's two ways. You can just select your items like this and use the tool up at the top and group it. There's one way. Um, the next way you can also do it is to hold, click the item, and then click the next item and then group it. But you're going to group your two items together. It will change it to one color. Um, the next step we're going to do is add our name. And I'll just change it to purple to make it easier to see. If you go to the right under basic shapes, you'll see text box. You're going to add the text to your bubble wand. Click on the text and drag it to your bubble wand. And under the inspector tool right here, you want to open it back up. And where the text, the word text is, this is where you're going to change it to your name. If I put Fishman, you'll see that it's, it's changed. You can um, play around with the bevel tool. There is not many fonts to choose from. Here are your fonts to change um, your fonts, but you can adjust it by changing the bevel, with the bevel. All right. So the next step is I realize this will fall off. It's, so I'm going to change the height, change it down. And I'm going to look at it to make sure my dot, my eye, if I was to print this, the eye would just, the dot would not be connected. So the next option I could do is click on my text and shrink it and move it where the eye is inside. The I and the A is inside my bubble wand. So Ms. Heishman is just going to make it smaller. And this is going to be lifted above the bubble wand because of the height. The height is 10, and I can leave it at 10. So your bubble one's flat at 5, and my height of my name text is here. Now, you can get creative and put a different name on it, but I do need to see your name. Now, the last step is to make sure I group the, the text with the bubble one. So I'm going to select everything and go up to the top and click Group. So now I have all my objects grouped together. And notice Heishman turned purple. Then the last step is to, when they're grouped into one color, is to take a photo and download your, your final creation. So over to the right, I can click Send To and download it. And now I got a photo of it. Now when you're download, it is going to be exactly what the view is you see here. So if you want it to download closer like this at an angle, you can go to send to and download and there's your image and that's going to save your bubble wine onto your Google Drive and you can share that with me through email or other ways um, through Google Classroom as well. Hope you enjoy step two. The next last step is for me to print your bubble wine.